Hello and welcome back to the final episode of our Radiohead OK Computer Journey on Pop God Reacts. As we Ooh. are at the last song, The Tourist. Yay! <laughs> so, before we go into the last song, I haven't asked you so far. Are my reactions to this, as you know, you hold this up as the sacred cow of all albums for yourself? Have they, uh, you know, has it not been the kicking you expected it to be? <laughs> Is are your reactions the okay computer of reactions? Is that what you're asking me? Um, I know you, but you know, like, uh, we do jest, um, uh, we do know each other very well at this point, don't we? And sometimes um we lay into each other for funsies more than uh realsies um uh but uh i don't know I i'll answer that question with um i didn't really care <laughs> in the nicest possible way um I, I just you know it was something that we said we'd do it's something that i i i wanted to do because I, I love the album and yeah i kind of hope you'd like it but also i, I kind of guess you open yourself up to yet you might not and i know that it isn't sort of technically necessarily the sort of stuff i know you resonate with we've talked about radiohead off offline quite a lot and things like that but um but yeah i don't know i just i just wanted to do it so we were going to do it <laughs> um <laughs> and I, I i think one of the nice things for me if i'm honest is that um uh you've had a lot to say about it like, and it's not to say it necessarily always positive, but I think one thing that I, I've quite liked about um, it is uh, some of the depth, bearing in mind you're getting this for first listen, you are picking up on it because it is resonating in some way, shape or form with you. Um, and, and that's really kind of nice because I think um, regardless of of the, the, the liking something or not, um, I think the kind of point of this is hopefully we both find, like when we're doing songs that neither of us know, the hope is, is that we both find songs we love or songs that at the very least has enough content in there for us to talk about it. You know, like yeah. there's nothing more boring than like us going, eh, you know, that's, that, yeah. yeah, you know, like that's, <laughs> and, and it's reality because <laughs> a lot of stuff does fit into that. But um so, 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 yeah, I didn't really have any expectation of you or, um, or, or whether I cared whether you liked it or not. I, I think I, I cared more that you, you got into it to the degree of, of wanting to talk about it. So, shall we finish it up by being a tourist? Yeah, something that um, I'm not a fan of being. So, uh, but. I'm a fan of this song. Spoilers. Right, let's do this.
how uh, every album should finish with a ding of a bell. <laughs> ding! <laughs> that was a tourist. Final track of OK Computer. Um, what do you reckon? I could see an argument for switching this and Lucky up. Like you said in the, the last one. Well, putting and, them on last. And, and I, well, that was quite, quite tricky when we were talking about Lucky. Because... Um... I, I I could see him flipped, but I, and sorry, I, I will let you go. But but also, I didn't want to talk about this one because I think this also equally can be the closing track of the album. Um, but but yeah yeah that. But crack on, and I'll get into me what should be the closing track in a minute, and and <laughs> and the problem I have with both of them, unfortunately. So I I like this. I I love the way that it's sort of you know it it meand meander's not the right word, but it's sort of is melancholy for yeah. so much of it all the way through. And then you just get that fucking guitar solo yeah. there. And it's just, it kicks you a bit. And sort of like, we're not done yet, bitch. Have some more of this. And it reminds me of, I know we've, we've done one of the songs on the channel, but the Shire Horses album. Yeah. Where they yeah. have, like, there's a radio edit of some songs, but then there's the album version that got an extra two or three minutes where they have this sort of guitar solo at the end of them that just adds that extra depth and that extra coloring to, to the song and stuff. And with these sort of things, I look at it and go, could you have had that riff during the main part of the song and sort of, you know, put it in a little bit earlier and then sort of done something with that? No, this, no, because like, the way of like, lyrically and how the vocals are done and how the vocal tone goes through it, it needs to be that melancholy there to then yeah. have that guitar bit, have that extra sort of oomph and the, that depth to it. And yeah, it just sort of then floating out, you get the reverb on the, or the recomeback back on the, that last chorus then back into with with the guitar up there. It's just like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And as you say, the little dink at the end is just to, <laughs> yeah. to close Beautiful it out. Little kind of full stop, isn't it? Like a yeah. fantastic little full stop. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I said with, with Lucky, I think it, it, I think it'd be a great um, album closer because I think uh, for all the themes, motifs that are going through the album, I think it brings this... Um, this edge or kind of the message of you know th there there are when you're looking within yourself there are reasons to be positive you can drive this now the tourist is also a brilliant album closer for me because you know we've had kind of all again all of the bustle and the paranoia that goes on and in this you know like the world slows down it's saying slow down and even when the world isn't slowing down like that idea of a tourist and that kind of seeing and i know there's even some thought this in kind of the, the tourist bits but as you said musically it, it's it got that that like for me sweet melancholy lilt to try and almost bring you down and, and i mean i bring you down in a good way not bring you down but like you know like to, to, to bring you back down and kind of go do you know what as much as this world is 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 hectic manic all this stuff's being thrown at you you know like all of the advertising campaigns, the corporations, the politicians telling you what you need to be, what you should be. You're telling yourself what you need to be. Slow down, you know, like calm you down. There is there is stuff to enjoy in there and, and like really get there. And I like them both as the album closer. I don't, I think I'd have one of them. It's the honest yeah. truth. And I love this album, as you say, as I've told you before, it's, it's for me, it's, it's my, my, possibly my favorite but for me one of the greatest albums of all time um yeah if there's one change i was going to make i would probably only have one of them in because i wouldn't also place these songs anywhere else in the album yeah and that they, does they wouldn't... That, that does potentially mean i have one less track on an album that i love and 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 you know, I, I probably don't need to but but yeah you know like if i was going to put um it's a musical genius that i am but you know that cherry on top i yeah, this so and if i had to carve one i'd probably carve lucky because lucky existed on another album the the yeah uh, the help album um because i i i think that i think that this one may be 
and not just because of the thing at the end. I think maybe this one is the better album closer because I think it 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 speaks to everything that's come before and and doesn't say I've fixed everything that comes before, but gives you an alternative conclusion, an alternative way that you can be in this world. So we've told you like how bad this world it can be or how um, mentally damaging this world can be or how forceful this world can be on you. Well, here's a, a potential answer. Mm-hmm. And I, I, but I really like it. And, and you know, you said about like where we take the, uh, the uptick in the sus. So we kind of go in very steady, very beautiful. I think his lyrical delivery in this is amazing. Um, but that distorted picking it back up again to come back to uh, the Hey Man, Slow Down, Slow Down. Um, as much as I joke about the bell being the full stop, I think his lyrics coming back is the full stop of the album. And I think it's more impactful because you had that oomph for the guitar coming into yeah. it. But yeah, I, I think it's a cracking track. Um, and, and I think it's 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 one that... And I think a lot for a lot of the tracks on here, but I think it sits snugly in the album and I think it sits snugly out in the album as well. It is one that I particularly enjoy, depending on what mood I'm in, it, just listening to it as a as a singular song on its own. I don't feel like mm. it needs the album either. Um, but yeah, big fan. Big fan. Yeah, as I said, I mean, you're right. You, I mean, you could drop one of the two. Yeah. And on a first listen... I probably, I'd probably agree. I'd drop lucky of the two. Yeah. yeah. And it's almost kind of going like, oh, get get us for being like, oh, we've got two endings. Like, yeah, you can do it. I mean, many albums do, don't they? Many yeah. albums have sort of two bits. But I think they, and they speak to different things. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think, yeah. So if I was being like an absolute perfectionist and it's fine 20 years later after listening to the album about 8 billion <laughs> times, I wouldn't want lucky to not exist. But I think, yeah, there's there's an argument for, um, skipping out on Lucky and, and, and going into the tourist. So, is that time for the album as a whole? Um, we know how much you love this album. You've watched yeah, I'm going to shut up it. and just let you go because I, I yeah, many I've a time about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, interestingly surprised is how I will start it. Yeah. You, Obviously, I'd heard Paranoid Android before. I'd heard Karma Police. I'd heard No Surprises. You know, my disdain of and sort of level of visual I had. Defunct sustain, d- disdain for No Surprises. Was because of hearing it, A, out of context, but also sort of having it in that... The timing of it. Because you've got to think, it was what, 97, 98 this came out? Um, uh, my God, why can't I remember this? Uh, it is uh, March '97, and I'm just gonna have a look to see when No Surprises drops as. So, Mar- No Surprises actually drops as a single beginning of '98, so January '98. Yeah. So that's probably when it's. I know the album's probably playing, but you more likely picked it up early '98 um, in pubs more than. Um, yeah. So when the album came out. Me at '98 when I am full Captain, you know, the start of Captain New Metal. And finding, you know, corn and limp biscuit and Marilyn if only Manson. I had, if only I had a time machine, I could go back and speak to you. <laughs> yeah, it, it is like the complete other end of everything that I am being into. Yeah, you know, so I think I think it's one of those of time and place and yeah. thing where it didn't hit me at the time. Because it wasn't what I was looking for. I was angry teenager, and that sort of level of oh fuck, it's that dull, hard, fucking annoying songs that they used to play when they weren't playing like good metal heavy shit had probably put a, a clouding on it of you don't like this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you 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 are right though, isn't there? I mean, I'm, I'm sure. Um, and I'm sure we'll get to it, um, or get to them, sorry, as we go on. But I'm sure there are many albums that we um, that we like all the way up to love now that 
if they'd hit us at a certain point in life, we probably, and I'm going to say wasn't ready for it, but wasn't ready in what we were listening to. I mean, yeah. I know what I, I say to you about it quite a lot, but um, the other album that really goes toe to toe with this is, as for me, one the greatest album of all time is Stevie Wonder's Songs in the Key of Life. But I think like seven, 16, 17 year old me, I don't know whether I'd have liked it or... I don't know if it would have resonated with me because it wasn't the sound I was listening to at the time. So yeah, I I, th I think there's there's a lot in that, isn't it? Is sometimes the no matter what the quality of the album is, it's not the album for you at the time that you're hearing it. Maybe yeah, and and the other thing is, especially I know what I was at that point. If it if it wasn't metal, punk, or heavy indie. Or randomly Eurodance because I was massively into Eurodance <sighs> at the time as well. If it wasn't that, what do you mean, I didn't at the time, a... you haven't lost your Eurodance love. Like, at, at, well, I want well, to right, record this at the time, new, at the I'm time and beyond. New stuff. <laughs> yeah, not finding new Eurodance stuff. Don't you know? mean, I don't mean to hide your Eurodance <laughs> love. Like, <laughs> hug it, embrace it. It is, it is you. Yeah, ah, oh, do love that shit. But yeah, it's that thing. Like, I, it just it wasn't. Yeah, what I wasn't, needed. It wasn't what the sound the for time. you. Yeah, it wasn't the sound for you at the time that it, that mm. it was there, possibly. And as such, I've just as I said I've, I've only ever gone off what I'd heard, and it's always been oh, there's that one or two songs that I have that have got big riffs in, but the rest of it's just fucking dull hard bollocks, and never then really yeah. sort of explored into it. So behind the scenes, I guess it's a little bit of like uh, behind the curtain stuff. But but uh, when we started doing the music stuff, obviously you know, we started talking about music. We talked about the things we liked and didn't like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know, like I said to you, like I really loved these, and you were like, you didn't, you know, like it was like very kind of, um, I don't know. It surprised me because I thought you would. Um, and then, you know, when we ch chit chatted a little bit, you'd sort of say, oh, you know, you've heard some of the, the singles and things like that. And I kind of went, yeah, OK, like maybe just maybe um, uh, if the singles didn't hit you at the time, they hit you. And I do I do think of them as a as an album band. Um, yeah. A singles band, even though, as I said, I think a lot of the songs can stand on their own. But, yeah, I was really surprised. So it's one of the reasons why we why i pushed for radiohead not just because i love them but i kind of wanted to and it wasn't like i didn't at any point think that necessarily you'd be converted into loving them but i did feel like there was a path to converting in you into not having the opinion you did have of them because i felt it was quite um i don't know like it, it it felt like you hadn't heard the band that i think they are is is the honest truth and yeah and I thought the Benz would be a trickier one because I think that more leans to the band that when you describe them, um, uh, that they kind of are. <laughs> but but I, I kind of hope that this, this album would be... Um, I, I'm trying not to be sort of like crass. I'm going, oh, this would open your eyes. But I do mean open your eyes, but not to, oh, my God, music has changed, but open your eyes to maybe they're not that thing you thought they were. Um, yeah. And, and that there is so much more to them and even if you don't necessarily like it there's still so much more to them they're not the i can't remember the, the, the dull uh band that that in your head they were yeah it's the thing is like coming out of this especially this album because i said there was a few songs on the bends i was like i i, I would keep them in rotation but as a whole yeah. i'm not going to jump on listen to the bends in whole in full because it's too much of it that's that to me was just okay. Yeah. Where with this computer, <laughs> can't use the term probably... okay on this album when we're doing this album. <laughs> okay, computer. Uh, sorry, Karen. With this one, I probably would do the whole album if I'm going to listen to anything off it. It would, it would be one of those of like, especially because I listen most of the time. I listen to stuff is when I'm at work. Yeah. You know. On a Friday afternoon, I I could see myself chucking this on and yeah. like the whole album and just playing through it. And even the few songs that aren't where I'm like, oh yay, like amazingness on them, I'll listen through them because none of it is get the fuck out of my ears. I never want to hear you again. Yeah. You know, 
but the stuff that I like, I really like. It's like, you know, well, I was going to say, like, electioneering are already in my. Well, I was going to say, like, this. To hit. What are your? I mean, I guess you put it there, but what's your top track of the album, and what's your worst track of the album? See, that's hard because like it's a freeway dance on the my favourites because yeah, Paranoid Android, Electioneering, and Climbing the Walls. Which, as you'll probably tell, there's a theme there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did. I mean, yeah. I said to you, I, I felt that Electioneering may well be like a real standout track for you um, because of uh, Starland subject matter. Um, yeah, is so that I think as of now, but this will change. I'm going to go climbing the walls. Yep. But as I said, it is cigarette paper between all three of them. Um. Least favourite is a horrible one to say because I get the purpose of it and thing, but it just it's just the one that doesn't hit me is exit music for a film. Which um and I was gonna say surprises me, but uh, we talked about it on the no surprises one, and it only surprises yeah. me because I, I thought, knowing your disdain for it beforehand, and I'm really glad that you don't have the disdain for it you did before. Going into the album, I, I had assumed that that would stay um, your least favourite. So, yeah, my surprise for Exit Music for a film is more still my surprise that it's not no surprises more than it. Yeah. Than that. it I think for that one, it's just in a different context, I think that works much better, as I said, if it was used what its purpose was, as in like a bit of film music. It's just to me, it is the as a song in a sort of album sort of thing like that, it just is the one that's just a little bit meh for me. And, and but, I know we talked about in the video for me, um, it, it, you know, that's the beauty of kind of doing this and, and, and seeing different things is for me is um, um, a modern masterpiece of a, of a piece of music and a song. Um, and uh, I, I think in another universe, if I didn't, if Paranoid Android didn't exist, I think it would be my favourite on the album. But Paranoid Android exists, so you know <laughs> we're not in that universe. But 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 you know, like it, it's again, you say it, it's what hits you and when it hits you, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so bearing in mind, uh, we are now through, and it's album three. But but um, actually, for the reactions one, um, album two. Uh, I would like to go on to Kid A, but I think it's only fair to ask you, would you like to go on to Kid A? Um, well, we are, we are, you know, doing all of them. We have said this I, I in know, the same but, way that, but, you know, we've said all of Rammstein yeah. and... But there's also that bit that if at this stage you just went, this is so painful for me because, um, and, and don't get me wrong, you know I get a lot of pleasure out of your pain as well, but, um, <laughs> but there is a part of going... You want to have a punt at it being enjoyable. And yes, sometimes doing a bad song is fun or something that you don't like can be fun. But um, an album is less fun, isn't it? Like, I don't want you to to, to, to suffer. I mean, and, and as I said, I'd really like to do Kid A because I think it's going to be a very interesting one for you to react to. So, yeah, it's the thing. With, with these, I mean, this one has won me over enough to change the the whole perspective on them as a whole yeah and you know it is showing me that there is a there is a lot more to them than what i'd had so far and that what had made me go fuck radiohead and that sort of that yeah you know, whatever ness to it that i had had for as many years as i have had so you know i am more than willing to carry on through them all you know um you know i'm biased i love them so you know yeah. i'm like to go a bit sure. but um it, it was i i really liked pablo honey i was a really big fan of that um i really liked the bends but i would say for me the bends was to a large part doing what a lot of indie bands were st i didn't feel like it was distinct at all mm. whereas this is the album for me where um 
I, I will, you know, I said about like a lot of it kind of personally resonating with where I was um, in life at the time or maybe where I wanted to be more than anything else. But for me, this is where I just went, wow, there's something different about these. They're still in that same genre, but there is something distinct and different to. And, and there was a plethora of bands doing stuff at this time, wasn't there? And I think yeah. it was um, what they were trying to do musically and I think achieving, but. Um, the adding in of uh, a lot more of the orchestral symphonic kind of elements, the uh, integrating uh, stranger sounds. And when I say stranger sounds, they don't feel strange to me anymore. God, the stuff I listen to now. But at the time, in, in what their compatriots were doing, very, very distinctly different. And, you know, I, I, I know I do get it when people say, oh, his voice isn't for me. You know, it is. I, I can see that. But... I think because his voice was very distinct to what other people were doing. You know, he has his own sound and I, and it always resonated with me. I really liked it. And of course, I think the big thing for me is the lyrical content. Um, I, I do think that what they are, try, I said earlier trying, but for me trying and succeeding to talk about this album made them such a cut above um all of their peers for me and just made them other bands not their peers and don't get me wrong there's still loads of bands from that era that i like some that i would go up to even going that i love but th this is where they went onto a pedestal for me um mm. because this was distinctly better and distinctly different than uh what other people were even trying to do and you know, as i say no spoilers for kid a but we'll see what trying gets you uh, when we get to Kid A. So, you lot out there, let us know down there, the album as a whole, and also The Tourist on its own. Um, as always, YouTube, you things of like, subscribe, and ring up the bell. Uh, Radiohead will be back at some point during the year. Yes, yep. Do some we, other uh, albums, but we'll come back to Radiohead latterly. Because yes. we still have Rammstein to finish. And, What's the next uh, Rammstein album that we've got? I forget. The self-titled. Oh, yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Um, so that will be before the next uh, bit of Radiohead. But until yes. then, we'll be back with more stuff from the list, more random picks that we decide of. So if you want to carry on knowing all the things that we're doing. I thought you said knowing bell. me, knowing you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is me, Lacey, knowing you sitting. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> Do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, and ring off the bell. Until next time, day.